people. Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here and we are back for another weekly reset. I know it's been a couple of weeks between power outages and new seasons launching and everything basically happening. Wanted to get back to one of these. I am a little under the weather so if the voice sounds weird, if I don't have a lot of content over the next day or two, I'm going to try and recover a little bit. Uh, but wanted to get this one out for you guys as we do have a decent amount of stuff to cover for the week. Uh, but yeah, it's June 18th. A lot of things are here. Obviously, the Iron Banner Cauldron is burning. We will talk about that a little bit. Uh, but in general, we've got a few things to cover. So out here, of course, in your destination map, the Flashpoint is on Mars, so have fun in there. Your three strikes this week for your Nightfalls. As you're getting closer to that 750 power level, the 100k should be in reach, depending on which one you're running. Word and nothing, if you have a team, definitely should be easily doable, even below. I think we did that one about 735, 740, something like that. Uh, I would run an Arc Burn and Heavyweight on Warden of Nothing. Tree of Probabilities, you're going to probably want to run Void there. Exodus Crash, honestly, couldn't tell you because I cannot stand that strike. But maybe at some point I'll solo that one just to see how the hell it goes. But right now, Arc Burn on Warden of Nothing, Void Burn on Tree of Probabilities. Make sure you take some Void Weapon into Warden of Nothing, though. You're going to have those Minotaurs with shields in there. Uh, those weapons are going to have the Tree of Probabilities with the DFA Hand Cannon, Warden of Nothing with Warden's Law, that Hand Cannon as well, and the Impact Velocity. I think it's a Ship or a Sparrow from the Exodus Crash, if I remember correctly. As you guys will be running around on Mars doing your weekly adventures and stuff like that, Escalation Protocol this week, in case you're missing something or grinding for completions of some nature, uh, it is going to be all three weapons this week, so if you're looking for any of those missing pieces, you can get all three of them this week, so enjoy your grind on that one. Gambit, of course, nothing too crazy in there for you guys, but the big one, Crucible, we've got Iron Banner, of course, so definitely spend some time in here. There is a new quest. We'll look and see how that one starts, but one thing to make note of, if you haven't heard, possibly been living under a rock, you're going to want to probably pull this guy out of the vault. Lord of Wolves right now, with its change that it's had recently, where you literally just hold down your reload button and you swap to release the wolves, it's active all the time, its range is stupid, it's got 10 shots, it's really, really broken in Crucible, and they said it's not going to get fixed right now. So, if you see a lot of these running around, that is why, and if you've got this thing, definitely work on pulling it out of the vault and uh, having some fun, since you'll be probably spending some time in Iron Banner. Anyway... But just wanted to point that one out. If you didn't know, Lord of Wolves is one you're gonna want to keep in, uh, keep close at hand if you're playing any bit of PvP at all. Uh, other than that, Dreaming City, we are on Curse Week Two. Your Ascendant Challenge, which I'll probably do later, is gonna be in the Chamber of Starlight, and it's Cimmerian Garrison. It is the one where you have to do the full run, especially on the time trial. There's nothing but running in there. Um, it's the one where you've got the like kind of long walkway, the knights that chase you in the end, it's kind of the one floating platform with the one big knight you do have to burn down in the end of it. But that will be the Cimmerian Garrison. Probably get that video up later before I do anything like Nightfalls or stuff like that. Uh, but I did start a video series that I'm going to do for all of the treasure maps that you get from Warner 99. Uh, just the locations that I have pop up. I got a few of them up last week. I didn't do it the first week because so much went wrong. Um... But my video series about just the locations of all the chests, they're going to be two, probably two or three minute videos, short ones. But if you search them, they will be in there and it'll just be in its own little playlist. Uh, but that pretty much wraps everything up for now. We know Shadowkeep is coming. Cannot wait for that one. Uh, but we've got to check Eververse and see about this uh, Iron Banner quest. So let's look at these two real quick. So here at Eververse, we've got a few ornaments, of course, for silver. We've got the Cyber Intellect for Darcy. Kind of a cool look how the lights are actually flashing, the kind of green pumping stuff throughout it. One of the cooler ornaments there, um, middle multi-tool, always just kind of feel like it's a lackluster ornament. Digital Ops, I mean, it doesn't look bad, it looks cool, just not going to use middle multi-tool right now, definitely not going to pay for it. The Gyro Shell, that one looks pretty cool, just because it is honestly spinning the entire time, it looks really crazy. Um, one of the more ornate looking shells and just kind of cool looking animation. The Mother Load, the jet engine of all things to sit on that seemed terrifying. That one is for sale, which that just sounds like a terrible idea. And the, but you, you, but you, no, <laughs> always good with the emotes. Down here for Bright Dust Purchases, uh, in this part, we've got the Grooving Dance, working them hips a little bit. We've got the Ornament for Crimson, the Silver Bullet, which is cool, Beast Paw Projection, and the Reef Awoken. Uh, the seasonal stuff we've got, that one doesn't change, and the Archive is still there for... Anything you haven't gotten before, whether, you know, it's like certain ornaments here, Whisper of the Worm I never even bought, but other bright per bright dust purchases we have this week are going to be the Chalice Projection, 
Of course, those change with your subclass. You've got the standoff, which is a cool one if you don't have it because it's got a two-phase emote because then eventually it will pull the weapon out when you do it. So it's cool. Two stage one, you got the parcel of Stardust ornament. Shards of Galanor getting a blued steel ornament. Just it's got literally all, like knives all over your arm. Looks kind of awesome. I got to be honest for something dealing with a wave of a thousand cuts. That's a pretty badass looking um, ornament. Sorry about the language there, guys. Try not to do that. You know that. Grateful Crane. I know it doesn't have a whole lot going on, but when I look at this Sparrow, it just looks like clean and sleek. Kind of looks like a modern sports car to me. I could be crazy. You guys may hate this thing, but something about this just slight gold outline, not too gaudy. You got like almost a true like exhaust pipes on it. You got the front nose that comes down into a point. I don't know why. I just think this thing looks cool. So I might be picking that thing up. At least I can get it at 160. So we'll see if I can get the right rolls on it. Uh, but other than that, that's all we got for Eververse here, I think. Let's go see if Saladin has anything to wrap up this week. So we are here at Lord Saladin. Things have changed up a little bit. Previously, the available bounties would be unlocking their corresponding gear piece below them between the five pieces of armor or the weapons. But they have changed things up this season. Now, I don't know the wor where the weapons are specifically at. Uh, but you do have the bounties. And just know every one of these bounties is still powerful. I'm actually pleased they did not change that. Gives Iron Banner even more weight to play. You're going to be seeing a, lot, seeing a lot of Lord of Wolves, especially if you're on PC. Uh, probably more so if you're on PC, thanks to Fallout's video that PS4 is a little harder to control that thing. Uh, but these are still worth powerful gear seven times over. And then, on top of that, we have the new quest. So, Test of Strength. As a team, earn points by defeating enemies in Iron Banner. That's your first step. Now, I don't know how many steps there are going to be for this thing. People won't know until they totally unlock it. I'll try and record as we go through because I'm sure it's going to be during the season of Opulence. So it's probably the whole season's quest. So it may not be something unless you just play a ton that you might grind out in like a couple of days. It might take you a couple of Iron Banners. But as I said, each piece of armor is going to unlock through each step. We'll be dropping at powerful gear levels. And I guess at some point there's going to be weapons or just the weapons are going to be the overall like loot pool that we've got at this point and they just may be part of the random loot drops we'll see uh i know they showed the rocket launcher and i'm trying to remember what other one they were showing previously for this week's iron banner the armor actually looks fairly cool i'll be honest um i kind of like just the color but yeah the rocket launcher and then the suros it's that slug shotgun that we've got in there not everybody's favorite but it is there to say the least but yeah this is your quest step pick it up not entirely sure all the steps involved but i know the armor drops powerful I'm not sure if weapons are involved. It's probably just for the full armor set and then weapons. I don't think they're probably going to introduce anything new, at least not at this point. But again, pick up these bounties. You're going to be in there anyway. And that's seven powerful drops. That's actually really, really great. Got a new Sparrow. Sadly, it's 150, and I honestly cannot figure out why. It looks cool. It's a similar model they've used before. If you go look through old Sparrows, you'll see this model. It's had a little different look to it, but you got the kind of... Uh, Lighter, like, reddish-brown, almost, like, you know, copper color to it with the gold ornaments on there. At least this one looks a little better, even though it is still a little bigger sparrow. And then the ornament as... or not ornament, but the emblem, I do like this one. Looks really cool. Um, like, with the little eyes in the background. So that is pretty much it. The only other thing we've got this week is a new boss in Menagerie. It's pretty much the only one we haven't seen. So if you're going through your triumphs, you should be able to unlock a couple more things. I don't know what the actual uh, secret is going to be on this guy, but our new one is Paguri. No idea who he is. Haven't jumped into Menagerie yet. Literally jumped straight into this one. So you'll have this guy here. And then I know from last week we had, like, eyes only for you. There's going to be some secret triumph for him, obviously. And then next week is when Heroic Mode unlocks. So I'm sure there's going to be more triumphs related to Heroic Mode on top of other stuff. But keep working on your Chalice, unlocking all the... Um, all the stuff involved there. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your grind in uh, um, Destiny right now. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. The Menagerie is cool. If you haven't picked it up, the Ostringer and the Beloved Sniper Rifle have some amazing feels to them. People are loving them. The Truth Quest is last week. If you haven't got the yet, that yet, the tracking is amazing and works really well in Gambit. Um, so yeah, lots of stuff to do. Me Heroic Menagerie is next week. The Lumina Quest is after that. We've got Guardian Con. I will be going to Guardian Con, so if you are headed out there, let me know on Twitter in the comments or something like that and keep an eye out for me. And that's about all I got for this week. Enjoy your Iron Banner grind. Lots of stuff to get. Menagerie grinds and keep on working for everything that you guys are going for. So thank you guys for the support. 
Channel keeps growing. Twitch is growing. Thank you guys for everything. So you can find me everywhere. It's Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. You can see Bontis everywhere. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do so and hit that alert bell. That'll actually keep my videos in your feed as opposed to what YouTube decides to do with them. And other than that, find me on Twitch. If you follow me there, I uh, stream at kind of random times. I don't have a set schedule. So if you catch that notification, you'll see me live. So thank you all very much. Have an awesome week and enjoy maxing out those characters. Have a good one.